Hey guys, this is Scott's place, and uh, I'm I'm still in Quebec. Well, I, actually, I got some news for you. I'm not going back to California. I decided to stay here with family. So I uh, um, so I am staying in Quebec. I uh, already have a workshop going here. I got a bandsaw, belt sander. A nice little table saw, I got a miter saw, I got a uh, edge planer, I got a thickness planer. It's going pretty good. Today I'm going to start by making a little table with a little fancy skirt. And, and all this is going to be done with reclaimed wood. So let me go show you what I got to work with. And my trailer, and it's full of uh, reclaimed wood old pieces of wood from an old house and that's the wood I'm going to use to make that little table it's free reclaimed wood is one of the great look of furniture wood is so expensive today I choose to go that route and there's always wood somewhere free so that's what we're doing so let's get back inside and get started First thing we're going to do is remove the nails out of these reclaimed boards. Uh, they don't play nice with your table saw, so I'm going to start removing these. The first thing to do here is Obviously, we don't go. We don't want to go where there's really big cracks and stuff like that. We don't mind the nail holes and some knots and whatnot, but we want to keep basically. So um, the width with the length of it with the end caps is 32. So without the end caps, let's say put them at four four inches each that leaves me with about 24 inches so see I'm gonna go from there to here that's all be one piece from my top I gotta find a few more because I have to make it to about 16 inches my slots for my biscuit Putting these clamps over here, right on the on the seam, that way it aligns the end caps to the running boards. I'm working on my legs, trying to make them square.
with the little 45 degree on my leg in the back as you see I have clearance and that's what I want so now I need to biscuit each side of that and glue them in place okay, my legs are glued in mortised and clamp okay now I'm gonna do reinforcement for the bottom of my legs something like this so now I have to biscuit this in. Uh, while my legs are drying and all that, I took the advantage of finishing this. I put a little uh, tint on it and I will be finishing the table with some varnish looks pretty nice nail holes and all there you have it I'm gonna sand off all this putty off of here and then we'll be ready for the tint Now I'm gonna go directly to 220 and then 320, making it as smooth as I can. I'm keeping on going with 320. I'm right down to 320. It's ready for the tint, stain, and uh, that's what we're going to do next. Well, it should look something like this. This is no varnish on. I'm just going to throw in a few brads for good measure. couple of coats and it'll be ready in a few hours after that well I'm almost done my first coat and uh, I'll wait a half an hour or so put in the second coat this is water based so it's pretty quick Well guys, this is my project for today, we'll catch you guys on the next video.